You will have heard the phrases, you learn something new every day and every day is a learning day. The interaction you have with your child at home is very important and assists your child in the learning process. Numeracy is about numbers and counting, but also understanding measurement, money and being able to understand time and how to handle information. Try to encourage your child to count with you during everyday family routines. How many peas are on their plate? Or help with laying the table. How many plates do we need and how many cups do we need? You could play a number spotting game when out with your child. Discuss road signs. Are there any numbers on these? Either the speed limit or the name of the road. For example, the road from Camelin into Falkirk is the A803 and has a speed limit of 30. You could also discuss the shape of the road signs. Why are some circles and others triangles? You can also support your child to develop sorting and matching skills by involving them with the laundry. They could help sort by colour or match socks to their pair and to the correct member of the family. When discussing height with your child, use language such as taller and shorter and compare other members of the family. Involve your child in baking activities when measuring ingredients using scales, cupfuls or spoonfuls. Use language such as less, fewer, heavier and lighter to help compare. When at the shop, encourage your child to check how much some of the items are. If you are going to the shop with your child, give them a small amount of money and ask them to pay for some of the items. Do they have enough money for what they wish to buy? You can talk about the value of money. Look at the different shapes, sizes and colours of different coins and notes. If you give your child pocket money, take an interest in what they plan on spending it on or saving for something else. This will help them to understand the value of money and how to manage their own money in the future. Of course, in this day and age, we don't all deal with cash. Discuss with your child that if you're using your debit card, how this is still spending money. Discuss with your child about routines of the day, from getting up through to bedtime, and relate these to times. For example, when the little hand is at 5 and the big hand is at 12, it will be tea time. You can also use a calendar and discuss how many sleeps until an event. Children particularly enjoy this when looking forward to an event such as birthdays, Christmas and holidays. When talking about events that are coming up, use language such as tomorrow, next week, as well as talking about events in the past, as in yesterday and last year. It is also useful that your child understands the changes in time passing, for example the seasons, can they relate familiar festivals with certain times of the year? For example, bonfire night is when it is autumn, Christmas is when it is winter. All of the examples in this video are natural tasks that will be going on in your household every day. This video is to highlight what an important part as a parent or carer you play in your child's development and learning in everyday life. And something that seems as simple as laying the table at tea time is developing your child's early numeracy skills. Most importantly, the aim is to have fun with your child during these interactions and develop positive relationships that create young people who are engaged and excited about learning and the world around them. If you wish further information, you can view a copy of Every Day is a Learning Day at the following website.